This is the Infantino Flip. It's the new light and airy edition and we get asked about this one a lot so I thought it was about time that we did a review. Now the Infantino Flip is one of those carriers you're going to see popping up all the time um, on Google, on Amazon. It's a really inexpensive carrier. So it retails at around £39 which for a full buckled carrier um, is incredibly good value for money. So what are you getting for your cash? Well. It's quite a nice structured carrier. You'll see at the back here, it's got a similar shape to most other similar brands around, um, but the, the fabric isn't quite as nice um, and it's not quite as long lasting as some other carriers. So I'm just gonna talk you through some um, of the features here. Now this light and airy version, it's got much softer mesh fabric. So the, the, the flip that most of you have, um, which is like a dark gray color, it feels kind of scratchy, it's quite tough. It's not the most delightful thing to wear. This one is definitely an improvement. So you've got here, a pretty sort of standard quite a squishy waistband um, you've got a kind of internal harness here which is quite similar to something like the baby beyond carrier one and um, the buckles here are pretty kind of clunky inexpensive ones but that's <laughs> that's me picking holes in it <laughs> um, you've got an internal harness here for newborns you can see it's quite nice for popping on first and then plonking a baby in and out um, so again for breastfeeding mums not the best thing in the world to have things kind of pressing down but it's not too um not too stiff now you've got some little poppers here so these are what you use to make your carrier wider and therefore better suited to larger babies now this one says on the box it goes up to sort of 14 and a half kilo so that's the weight of you know a nearly three year old realistically this is not going to be comfortable um for a nearly three year old i would suggest you can go in or out of the harness here i think i'll go out of the harness um i would suggest this is going to be quite nice up to maybe nine months or one year old it will vary quite a lot but that's at like the absolute most so you'll get a lot of carrying for your money but don't expect it to last as long as it says on the box <laughs> as per most carriers um, so you've got four buckles in here so it does take a little while to get in and um, the arms are designed to pop out of the sides um, and you can do outward facing and back carrying in here and um, back carrying you can probably use the same technique as most of our other um, videos for back carrying. Sort of start on the front and scoot them around the back, but you'll try to want to try and avoid using that internal harness if you can. So I'm just going to show you the setup for outward facing. So this is an okay position once babies are around four months, up to maybe ten months max. Um, I quite like the little toggles here, which are used to adjust between the wider and the narrower settings. Um, lots of carriers will have Velcro and things the poppers are quite handy and then for outward facing as per things like the Ergo Baby Omni 360 and the Tudor Explore you want to narrow the settings so your baby isn't having their hips and their legs overstretched. Now in terms of getting a really supportive ergonomic position in the outward facing mode and um, this is sort of adequate I'd say um, it's not as good as the Omni that's for sure um, turn around here <laughs> um, and you do need <laughs> to cover baby's face for a moment <laughs> while you pop these um, buckles in so they might find that a little bit annoying but once you're all in place you kind of pop it down um, that popper is a bit of a pain to, to make it stick <laughs> but in theory that's what you're meant to do so here we go in outward facing mode you'll need to kind of tuck your baby's pelvis upwards to make sure it's supportive enough so yeah overall um it's a really really good value carrier for under 40 quid it's going to be hard to find anything to compare with this is it as good as the bigger brand names um in short no um it's not quite as comfy fabrics aren't quite as nice and it's not going to last as long but if you're on a budget it's not a bad option at all